Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I'm sure you were all expecting a haul video with mum today from my last vlog, our big shopping trip. Unfortunately, mum can't film today. She is sick with a chest virus, so we have to wait for her to get better and then we will film that collective haul. It will be great. We will do it together. And yeah, so I see you. I see you. I see all your comments and requests to do the unboxing and haul, but we'll have to wait a little while. I might be able to do it at the end of this week. So today I am doing my October favourites. It's late. Uh, obviously it's late. Listen, basically the reno has thrown me out so much like I haven't even gotten myself together. So basically because of the reno and the moving and the completely displaced feeling, this October favourites is going to be obviously true to my favorites because I love doing that but it's also going to be as you can see in the title Louis Vuitton special edition because I want to go over everything that I used during the like the moving in and out process of renovating simply because I think it could be really helpful of all the items that I did get a lot of use out of in the last month and a bit of renovating and they're all around me, they're, they're literally all around me. But what I'm gonna do is show you them, what I most use them for and how they helped the process and just having them, it was really, really great. So hair has a bit of curl in it. We are drinking a coffee from Campos because it is well needed, well needed. And on my nails, because I attended a wedding on the weekend, if you follow me on Snapchat again, you would know that. I have my Max Factor uh, Gloss Finity in the number 55 Angel Nails and it's on my nails at the moment. So it's this kind of dusty, silvery, goldy type shimmery polish. It takes two or three coats to get nice and opaque. I will tell you the first favourite for October are these. They are mage. I know I got a lot of people saying oh they're really basic, they're really simple but that's what I love about them. For some reason I know I go super zhuzh on glasses usually, sunnies, but for some reason because these are so simple, very sort of Ray-Ban-esque, I like that. I don't, I don't know, I usually love it being over the top and you know, or zhuzh, but for some reason I really, I really, I really enjoyed these this month. So they are my Chanel uh, Sunnies. Again, I will leave the link below to them because I, I don't have like a name. I always think they should name their glasses like Key Australia do, so like the Vivians, so you actually have a name for it. Okay, let's start this. Vuitton section. Alright, so what it was, what I used it for, and how handy it was. This was my best friend during, I'm going to say during my renovation period. So basically a lot of people ask me what did that mean you were coming and going. I was coming and going, sometimes we would stay here, uh, sometimes it was just disarray and we couldn't stay in the house. So basically with our development uh, business we live and flip so we live in the properties we renovate them and then we sell them so that's what we tend to do except obviously it gets completely trying at times which is lucky that I have my in-laws we've just finished their massive house so we go there so when I said I was in between it was in between sort of here and my in-laws sometimes we stayed at my parents condo so we just were literally in between this guy was so handy, not only for what I use it for, which is my face products, but to also just throw things on top so that weren't just face products. Great, I pick up a face product. But so, so say if, you know, I had my nail polish that I'm using, I'd put that in. If I had extra jewelry that I was using, I would sort of take off my watch if I didn't have it and I'd put, pop that in as well. And I just started filling it up with items basically. So the way I pack it is I put my two foundations, which are the Maybelline Fit Me at the moment, and they stand up at the end and then everything else lays down. You can pack this toiletry 
to the brim. Because this toiletry 19, that's what it is, the toiletry 19 in monogram print is straight up and down the rectangular shape. Everyone raves about the shape and it's true. If you have a cosmetic case half moon shape, you'll know that it can sometimes get really tricky to pack it. This one packs so well. So if you're looking for maybe you travel a lot and you're in and out of places and it's not just about makeup or cosmetic or toiletry needs, it's other things as well like if you just wanted to put all your jewelry inside this in little pouches it fits so well so this guy was just a lifesaver so sometimes I would grab it and grab my key pole and I would just run from my in-laws here or I'd have to pick up something for my husband I'd pack all his things in here it just worked a dream Woo! okay best friend of life I will say this if you do not have a key pull, and especially in the smaller sizes, so say you're 45, you're 50, and, and or I guess you're 55, it, you should definitely consider one, preferably a vintage one as well because they're already pre patinaed You can get them and find them on consignment stores for such great prices as I did with this one. This was, I'm going to say this was my best friend on all of these items while I was renovating, but truthfully, this was so handy to have. It just got thrown everywhere. It got emptied and thrown in the back of the car, in the ute that we were throwing things in. I know, you can cringe, but it's true, it did. It carried clothes, we didn't know if we were going to stay at home or not. Uh, one time it just had only shoes in it uh, and obviously it's the bandolier so it has the strap so it's much easier to carry. If you are a traveller um, these are such a great investment as a bandolier because you can put it on your shoulder, you can crossbody it and the weight isn't too much. Although I love the top handle I would get that in a smaller size like the 40 or 45 uh, because it's just cuter but in the bigger sizes such as the 50 and 55 the, the bandolier is so important that's a tip I will tell you and one thing I will say about key pulls is don't be scared about its content so what you put inside of it when I just said it was filled once with shoes all shoes I just wiped them off they weren't really dirty anyway to begin with and put them all in. They weren't in plastic bags, they just put them all in. It's like this is the ultimate piece of Louis Vuitton in the sense of all they talk about is travel, voyager, things like that because that is how Louis Vuitton started. He started with travel, trunks and luggage basically, obviously, and this is the perfect example of that. I did a post once on Instagram explaining the feeling of having these pieces of luggage grow with you and age with you and the use with you and the travel and the journey it was it was it was very sentimental <laughs> kind of shed a tear but it's very very true the journey that these luggage pieces take with you that's why you've just got to not worry too much about the content however i will say the reason I say a 45 or a 50 is because if you travel and that traveling is on an aeroplane, I am pretty sure nowadays they will make you check a 55. I do not care what any essay or manager says to me, especially like when it, I remember Josie was saying, you should totally get a Pegas 55 and I was like Josie they will check that she's like I don't think so I think it's still cabin like cabin friendly they will let you take it in as cabin hand luggage and I'm like ah I just think that like basically they will play you someone like Virgin Airlines or Jetstar here in Australia they will play you hard then you would roll up to check in for your flight to like wherever like Barbados somewhere fabulous like pulling your Pegas 55 along and they'll be like Virgin Airlines will be like sorry you, you're gonna have to check that in honey I will be like girl see you later 
I would be like, you know what? You can go to Barbados. Here's my ticket as a gift. I would, I would turn around to the person behind me. I'd just like gift them my ticket and be like, bye. And I'd get back in my car and I'd drive my ass home. So that is a tip. Definitely, I say to play it safe as a carry-on. A 50 or a 45, you're really, really safe, obviously. But, girl, don't get played. So that was that. This little item, I swear, has been in every single favourite. Again, true to my favourites, so that's fine. But I want to show you something about this. If you have this item, this is something I just worked out completely out of the blue. I was scrambling to get out of the car, grab the key pole. I had like two, ba two like flat bags under my arms and my briefcase. And I didn't need my handbag, I just needed my phone. I had my sunnies on, they weren't these Chanel's, but we'll pretend. I just had everything in my hand and I, I for some reason, this was on the front seat because it had been in my bag. And I picked up my phone, I didn't have any pockets and I went like this. It was so cool. I just really wanted to show you guys that. My iPhone 6 is in here. I am not sure if it would fit a 6 plus. Okay, we can take the sunnies off now. But this is a 6. This is my sunglass case, MM, and it is in there. And I just was like, I don't know, it was the coolest thing ever. And I got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, if you don't have a phone case, maybe from Vuitton or one of the shells or the case covers, but you do have this, handy, two for one. Okay, okay, I've got to get through it. I know. I am the queen of speedy B25s, but in all honesty, if you have been thinking about this bag, do it. I'm not even going to say, like, think about doing it or try it on. Just do it. Just order it. If, you, if you're not near a Vuitton boutique, just order it online. Get it, and I promise you, you will just be like, thank you, Jerusha. That is what I needed. This is what you need in your life. Shout out to my gorgeous friend, Karis, and we love a CC. She just got the Speedy B in Damier Ibin, Speedy B 25. She is in love with it. She caught, she texted me a picture when she was shopping. She was like, should I get it? And I was like, uh, yes, honey. Is that even a question? Get your life. Buy the bag. See you later. Made in France. Sold. Monogram, Damier Bean, Damier Azua, I don't care. This bag is just, you will just say it's a lifesaver in the sense that if you're a mum or you go to uni and you need a smaller size everyday crossbody bag, but also top handle and shoulder bag, everything, a three way bag, it is the perfect size. It still fits if not nearly as much as a 30. I know you can fit like a shawl or a, or a jacket on top of a 30, but nevertheless with this, a water bottle, it will all go in here. Either way, this bag is amazing. And during my renovation period, it was, it always is my go-to bag, but it was my bang around. It was my best friend. It and the key pool just came and went, got thrown in my back of my car and I didn't worry about it. So this was amazing. And side note, tried it on in Damiri Bin, in love, cannot even handle it. It is on another level. Just letting you know, I see you Damiri Bin, I see you. So that is a speedy. Are we filling up back there? I know I did the toiletry 19, but this also, if you're looking for a bigger toiletry, the 25, toiletry 25 is fantastic in all prints. I would love this in Damiri Bin as well. Obviously it's not needed because I have so many toiletries and so many cosmetic cases, but this for a bigger size is fantastic. I housed all of my palettes in here. So my new Stardust palette from Vegas Nay, my contour kit from Anastasia and, uh, and my other Anastasia palette and my other two palettes, they all went in here just lined up. So it was really perfect, super handy. Didn't grab it as much as I grabbed the 19, but still the most amazing travel partner if you are looking for toiletries check this out okay these last two three last three these two clutch friends 
Okay, I know I have got so many comments of late. I have been attending wedding after wedding. We have like another four to go before the end of the year. It's crazy. Everyone is getting married. Uh, and a lot of the time, you will see if you follow me on Instagram, I will snap the wedding outfit I'm wearing as a wedding guest. And I have been carrying either my Eva clutch or I went to another one. I didn't snap my outfit, but I carried my Neverfull uh, pochette. These two were the only clutch-esque bags that I had and I could get my hands on. A lot of people were like, you should have used Chanel, you should have used Chanel, it's more classy. Yes, I agree it's more classy. I could not get to my double flap and I wouldn't wear my boy. It's just not, you know, classy looking enough. It's more edgy. So these two were all I could get. Yes, I would die for an Anna Clutch from Louis Vuitton. Someone said I should invest in an Anna Clutch. Uh, yeah. Do you want to give me the money? Oh my gosh, I would love one of those. Beautiful. These two work perfect as clutches. So these were my go-to clutches and pretty much all I could get my hands on anyway. This obviously fits more than the Neverfull, this pochette. It was, it's only meant for sort of your phone, a lippy, and that's a new key and that's about it and this can fit a lot more I got more compacts in this and a brush to do any touch-ups or anything like that so the Eva was an absolute dream lastly I didn't get to show it in my last favorites so I'm going to show it now it is my new ish <laughs> monogram ellipse belt from Louis Vuitton. I didn't show it in my last favourites. It has definitely been a favourite. It is a lot thinner in width than my Ibin unisex riveted belt, so I am enjoying that. I feel a little bit lighter in size when I'm wearing it. And yeah, it is just perfected all outfits, especially during this runaround time. I have loved wearing it with my jeans, which you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram. But a belt is a must in my life and I invest in high-end belts because I wear a ton of pants and they just stand the test of time for me. And plus, I mean, they're the zhuzh. This was on repeat for the last month, if not two months, because of our renovations. All of these items, I mean, just on the go all the time. They are a true, true staple in my life. I need all of them and I use them, so it's such a good investment. Just quickly, I will finish favorites with some odds and ends. These two that I picked up in my last haul, MAC, MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer and the th 135 brush that works so well with it. This is a new brush. Honestly, if you want a brush that will just do your bronzer like done in one second, this is that brush. Gets all around your neck. It is so big and fluffy and just perfect to get up in the hairline and everywhere for bronzer. Now, Max, give me sun bronzer. Yes, it is very orange. I was quite worried it would be super orange, but trust me, a little goes a long, long way. And it is a sort of, you know, tax-free, ta taxing, like meaning you're not standing there and bronzing for ages. It is such a tax, like effort-free bronzer. Just load it up, tap it off, and you're good to go. And you won't turn out like, you know, you belong in Jersey Shore. It's just, I love it. If you are considering a darker orange or bronzer, but you're fair like me, Give it a go, just see what you think. And these two as a combo, I'm really glad I did both of them. We're kind of getting to the end. These are being mentioned as a favorites because if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of outfit of the days wearing these jeans. And due to my clean eating and successful weight loss, I have gone from a size 14 so that is a European 42 US 10. So a size 14, which is what these pants are, to a size 10. Yay! And they have gone through the journey with me. So I have, I'll see if I can throw images in here. I have worn them in and out for the day when they were tight. And then they were starting to get a bit baggier. And then they've just gotten really, really baggy, which is great. I'm still rocking them. My sister-in-law was like, why don't you buy new clothes, Jerusha, that fit you now? And I was like, I don't know. I I just, I want to see, I want to hold the weight 
and I just want to see, you know? So, and plus, I'm a very picky clothes person. I just, I'm picky in the sense that I just like simple shapes, simple statement pieces, and yeah. So anyway, we are still just rocking this larger size jeans and my Gucci belt and these jeans again if you follow me on Insta you'll know have been totally my favorites for the month of October I'm true to my favorites I will show you everything I have been rocking this look like non-stop I love it there's something effortless about it but you know the red and green and gold just give it something warm and polished and just really beautiful so I'm loving this outfit I have just rocked it a ton lastly my favorite for October this is just a mess of a video oh my gosh is in this box and dust bag of course it is my brand new Matisse hobo bag I could not go through a favorites without mentioning this bag it is phenomenal I know it is so controversial, you either love it, you hate it, I do not mind, you don't have to wear my bag, I'll wear my bag for you, uh, but it is just fantastic. Every time I touch it, it is so soft and mushy and beautiful, it is very easy to use, very user friendly bag. Uh, I love that mum loves it as well so that we can share it. And it's just a different piece for my collection. You know, I have a lot of monogram. Obviously, it's my favorite. I adore it. It's well wearing for my lifestyle. But it's a different shape. It's a different feeling. And I just, yeah, if you're thinking about it, go in, try it on, see how it works for your lifestyle. Even if you just like the pochette Matisse as well, the whole Matisse line, I think, is just gorgeous from Louis Vuitton. It kind of has kind of a relaxed, vintagey backpack hobo kind of feel and yeah so this is definitely a favorite for October okay that is it I think thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys I am a little bit all over the place I think I said that in my last two videos as well but next I will be recording my haul with mum definitely our collective haul will be coming this week so look out for that I promise you and then I have a backdated video that I keep talking about that I filmed here in my studio. I will then put that up, hopefully. And look, it's just, we're going to do, we're going to sit here and do a lot of filming to sort of catch up because it's just been a little bit mayhem. But thank you for sticking with me, bearing with me, bearing through this time. It will be fine after a while and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be really great. I will see you in my next video with mum guys. Take care, peace. And if